Hello everybody, Conodger here, back on the Racecraft server. Today we're going to continue progress on the monument building here. I've been given a pretty good deal of thought into what I want to do with the rest of the front facade here, at least the sides. Uh, I think I want to work out what happens to the little corners here and what happens on the actual side of the building before I start working up. Because uh, this this is making me a little nervous as to how it's going to look with the side of the building and the basement level is going to start here and go down. Uh, so I want to at least work out this and make sure that's going to look okay because it's going to be pretty squared off. Uh, so we'll see what we can work into that as far as detail. Uh, I've got all the materials I think I might use on me. Uh, so I'm going to start with this cyan clay which I would like to use as little as possible. Oh, I actually uh, I removed this layer of what was the stone brick and I want to replace it with the acacia wood to try and tie this in a little bit more. Uh, so let's see how that looks. Okay, so other than falling into about a dozen creeper holes, um, I think that looks good. You know, it just, it kind of makes this make a little bit more sense. Like, you know, that you, you would also be walking along here, not just straight, and it, it just ties this color into more of the stone. Uh, Joe was here the other day, he took a little tour of the progress, and he was not a big fan of the, the wood and stone look, I guess. I don't know. I really don't know what his complaint was. Uh, it, it was just... I, I do tend to put a lot of wood to stone contrasts in my builds. Uh, this is not stone, and that's not stone, but... I don't know. It just It's it's a look that I like, and it, it works, and like he said, there's not that many materials in Minecraft, so odds are in a building of this scale, there's going to be some wood to stone contrasting going on. Uh, so... I'm still pretty pleased with the way that's that's looking for now. Uh, let me. I really don't know what to do with this. <laughs> uh, it's kind of an afterthought. I didn't think it all the way through when I was building the main front. Uh, so I'm just gonna put up some stained clay for now, uh, just solid, and I want to see what that would give us. Um, it's probably gonna look a little too boring, but sometimes. You have to just deal with areas that are a little, how's the night already? A little uh, less ornate, just because if you have too much detail in every area, it looks too busy. Hmm. That's yeah. Again, that's it's pretty boring looking, but it's it's not distracting and it doesn't look completely out of place. So that may end up being what stays. Uh, let me sleep through the night here so we can continue on our progress. Okay, so one other thing that I like about using that cyan clay is that now from the inside it looks as though we have a different interior block. Um, it's not just the wood on the facade and showing through the inside. It looks like we have an interior wall as well. Uh, so I do like that aspect of it. I do not like the fact that this green stripe is showing on the inside, so I'm going to knock those out real quick. Let's see if we could carry that green stripe through. It's a possibility. And it would kind of spice it up a little bit. Yeah, that works. That works really well because now, now it all looks tied together. Uh, so I was going to try a bunch of different blocks for that area, but I think I'm going to stick with that. Nice and easy, I like that. Okay, so same thing on this side. Hopefully I had enough, enough clay. Still a little bit short on the clay. I would love to find a mesa biome. I need to uh, really explore out by that desert and see if there's not one out there. I know they're pretty rare though. But it would make this building go way easier. There's a lot of clay in swamps, but not nearly enough. Or something like this. Okay. So now this is all tied in, and you can kind of see what I mean. It closes it in a little bit and makes it more room like. Originally, I thought I was going to put a wall here, but I'm starting to feel like maybe that's not the case. Uh, that's 
a little unnecessary, but this will be blocked off here, so there'll be a, a closed-in room upstairs, basically. Okay, let's see. Now I want to work, try and work out these sides. See, I got a lot of stuff going on. It comes down one, and then it stays solid here, but it's a half slab layer. It goes down another one, two stairs. And I've got to work with the ground here so it doesn't look completely out of place. Do I have any dirt on me? No. Hopefully I have some over here. Okay, so now i got all the materials on me. Break out these stone here. Uh, these are just kind of a temporary outline of the building. Uh, one thing that I am noticing is the scale of the building is starting to like I don't know, catch up with me, and I'm starting to realize how long this building is compared to the width. So, I've got some ideas on what to do with the sides to make them interesting, uh, but it's going to take some interesting, um, maybe even weird designs for the windows to, to make it look like it's not completely oblong, because uh, it, it, in my mind, it's, it's going to look weird being that long for the width. Uh, so let's see, what was it? I just want to try these stone just to see if, again, the most uh, simple solution is going to be the most effective. And that would be just to fill in the clearly exploded ground around the building a little bit, terraform a little bit, and then just fill it in with the regular stone brick and leave it as that. But that, that to me, well, I, I can't really get a good look at it without closing it a little bit more. So let's continue on. Just a few blocks. Like that. I don't, I don't particularly have a problem with that. Um, one thing I was thinking I might have to do is round these corners out a little if I wanted to go with this design, so that's what I'm going to try. Uh, so I'm just going to take maybe these three here and then I will do something to, um, or do I even need to put stairs there? Probably not. And then take maybe just the one off the corner here. Will that round that out enough to make it look a little less jutted? Mm, yeah, it does. I think. Um, maybe still one more though. So let's take another layer off like that and do two here. So now I still have one all the way across and then do something like that. So now the stairs jet out one but it follows the contour of the building so it follows that curve back. So I think that makes a lot more sense, and it even makes this look a little bit more uh, consistent, because then you have the two here, a single, the two here, and a single. So yeah, that, that works for that. Uh, so let me replicate this on the other side, so it's going to be one back, two back, and three back. Uh, I think I have it the same for now, yes, it's one, two, it'll be three, so I have to put a block there, and I didn't use my axe. One, two, and then one, and then I broke two more of these. And then it'll be this one here. And then just fill in the side. And that should be the same. Let's see. It'll be two, one, and two, and one. Yep, that is the same. So I'm not going to dig out the ground here. I'm just going to leave it Leave it as it is. The natural terrain generation. This I want to get rid of though. That doesn't make much sense. And then the basement area will be... Uh, it will be dug out somewhat, but I'm actually thinking the basement is not going to be necessarily here. It'll be like maybe starting the roof of the ceiling would be here, so it'd be way underground. Because uh, that's where I want to put the nether, and I want to give it the effect that it's you know, way down there. Because uh, the nether 
obviously it is represented as like the underworld in this game and it's it's a little awkward that you don't dig down to it but it still makes sense to me to be in the basement alrighty so I think that gets the front facade looking pretty good uh, and it, it calms my nerves about how the edges are going to look let's see yeah yeah so um now I need to start working on uh, just I just want to maybe build it out to about here with a bit of a side uh, not necessarily the same pattern all the way back but it would only extend where am I in the realm of the building here oh so that's right there so never mind the uh, the windows would actually start here and extend all the way back so I'm not quite prepared on materials for that so I need to go gather a bunch more materials and uh, I'll probably finish out uh, this bottom brick all the way around so that we can start on the sides of the building alrighty so I've gone ahead and finished out that side and I went ahead and finished out the rest of the platforms on the uh, left side of the building here uh, mostly because I was a little worried that it wasn't going to come out to be even but it does indeed so there is one block remaining in the back there's one block to start in the front and then there's one to each side which means there's a two gap in between them all so that all worked out just fine and dandy uh, I need to knock out this put brick in there but uh, worry about that another day I just want to try and work out one of the windows today uh, so you can kind of get an idea as to what uh, I'm doing as a theme uh, and I think what I want to do is start the window here which is the one block surrounding it and end it here so it would be from let's see let's just use dirt to mark it so I can see it from the outside from here to here and uh, it won't be just flat up I want to build it out a little bit I think what I'm gonna do is use these dark oak um, logs build up now I need to go up all the way to at least the green here so this would be that would be the same layer as the green let me hop down and see if that's gonna be tall enough um, and it is definitely not so I'm going to go quite a bit taller than that and uh, just gonna have to play by ear as far as what I'm going to do with the second floor of the facade here uh, but this is important I really want these windows to be pretty tall in the, the little extensions off of here I don't know what they buttresses I have no idea um, I want them to be significant looking so they need to be a certain size and I feel as though this would be tall enough. I have no idea how tall it is. I'm going to do one of these numbers again. So the logs sideways. So it's a pretty similar theme to what we had out front. Uh, so it looks like it's all one building and not two separate ideas on the sides. Let's sock down somewhat safely. I don't have any food, do I? Yeah, let's march on this. This is rotten flesh for now. It's not going to do me anything. It's not going to give me regen. Okay, well, we'll take a gentle, a gentle walk down then. Um, so it looks gigantic, but I'm going to fill it in a little bit more from that. So it's not just going to be that huge frame of the window, but the window is going to be big. Uh, and that's because I want to do some stained glass work in these guys, uh, some themed stained glass. So I guess I guess you could pretty much call it pixel art in there. Um, but I'm going to need some stairs and hmm, the, the more I look at it, the, the stranger it looks to me, but I think I can make it work. So let me grab some more materials and some food and I will be right back. Okay, so I got some uh, cooked chicken here. Thanks to Duck's massive chicken farm thing going over there. I'm hoping he's going to do a little video showing off uh, this chicken XP farm thing he's got going because it's pretty cool. He's got it working now so you can drop 30 levels in like one killing of chickens. 
Uh, I have not been able to use it yet because he's still working on refining it, but it's pretty awesome. Alrighty, so let's see. I've got to keep in mind that the next window will be right here. So I'm going to put that there and just make sure that I don't I don't um, do something that's going to make that look really awkward. I already don't particularly like that there is no separation, so what I think I need to do is build out to here, and that way, um, that way it won't. This will look like a solid piece. It won't look like it's just two windows next to each other with no separation. So what I'm going to do for that, I believe, uh, do I not have any? Yeah, I just went and got material. Um, is going to go ahead and put more stone brick. Got lots of that, so uh, the inventory, probably the dirt, and make some more too. I say I have lots, but it's it's starting to dwindle already. Uh, the amount that I have, and I've got a lot more building to do, so I have to build up that inventory. So I'm going to build these up. I'm not going to frame it across the top. Ooh, that was quite a jump. I need an ender ender so I can get some ender pearls. Though I guess I still take damage. Or maybe some feather falling boots would be nice. There we go. And then across the top, I think what I want to do is maybe reintroduce this green. We will see. It's a little higher than uh, our previous green, so it might look odd. I'm gonna throw it across there just to see if I like it. Uh, let's see if we can jump to this acacia tree. Perfect. Hmm. So what I wanted to do was to put the uh, fences around. No, I didn't. Nope, that would look weird because, like I said earlier, that would make this look like it's just two right next to each other. So it would definitely not not be able to have fences next to it. Hmm. See, right now it looks so disconnected from the building, but that that will fix itself once I finish out the facade. So that's not really a concern to me. But I need this frame is like perfect for what I want to do. So I want to keep that the same for sure. I want to get that dirt back on, and let's climb up there and see. Maybe I don't know. Maybe spruce. I don't want more brick. I've got way too much brick already. That was dumb. Uh, I've got way too much brick already. Okay, so this is kind of the danger, uh, if you want to call it that, in in building live like this. You know, I'm not not pre-building. Uh, sometimes I'm going to run into these little roadblocks where uh, design's just not working. It doesn't look right, and I probably won't be able to figure it out on camera here, um, or at least not in this episode. But at least you'll get to see some of the design process. Man, I missed again. Oh, there goes 19 levels for no reason. Luckily, we're right next door. I must not have been building on scaffolding here recently. I've lost my edge. I need to put stuff on. I mismatched armor. I do have every... Oh, I don't have iron on. Four different types of armor, though. <laughs> uh, it's okay, so I put the stairs across the top. Trees are kind of blocking the view, as is the dirt. Hmm, okay, so I think I can make that work once I close in the bottom. So get rid of this again. There we go. Dirt. The scaffolding of choice. But once I get a little bit more settled, leaves work pretty well too, because they're so easy to destroy. And uh, and shears are pretty cheap, although not cheaper than a shovel. I don't know. Anyway, uh, let's see. I'm going to put spruce on the bottom, like so. All the way up to the building's floor, and then 
and fill it in with just stone brick. So we'll continue that outward. So that would be where the window is. That's pretty darn plain and awful looking. So not a fan of that at all. Let me think on this for a minute and uh, try to find something better. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and deal with this little gap right here right now. And uh, we will take a look at what I think I've decided on. I do want your opinion on what you think that looks like. Uh, so leave a... Uh, Leave a comment, tell me what you think of it. I am pretty sold on it, but that could just be because I had so many designs that I didn't like that this one this one uh, was just okay enough to be better than the rest. But I think this is what I've decided on. Uh, so I've got the brick up top with the upside down stairs and the stairs on the bottom that will frame in the panes that will be the window. I've got the green stained clay it is down here in a little uh, little tiny shadow box thing with the stone brick behind and cobblestone wall in front. I think it's it's interesting without being um, obnoxious and it kind of fits the whole theme of the building. It looks okay from the angle here, that's why I wanted to finish this out. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about the way it protrudes. Uh, it goes it goes all the way down to the ground versus the front is up but I did want to make this building look like it was part of the landscape so that's that's really not a bad thing and uh, I will be uh, landscaping this in so that there will be bushes and stuff up next to it so it won't look like it's just you know flat to the ground and slapped down crazy like you know, like it just fell from the sky and landed there I do want to make it look like it's integrated into the world, uh, but the more I look at it, the more I, more I'm okay with it. Uh, it's definitely a little different than what I was anticipating it to look like. I thought it was going to look more like um, separated because the next one is going to be right there, and that's going to make it look like this is the wall. Basically, it won't look like buttresses or you know extensions of the building it's going to look like this is the wall um, but from inside it gives us a little bit of the opposite impression it gives it so it looks like you know we have a little bit more breathing room in here this isn't just the edge of the edge of the building so that aspect of it I do like so yeah like I said tell me what you think about that if you don't like it don't be afraid to comment on it and say that's that's not very good so I can take uh, some negative criticism as much as you'd like to dish it out because I want it to look pretty cool not just cool in my demented mind but I think that's all we got time for today I am going to probably work on it a little bit more maybe work out a uh, stained glass window so you can see what I had in mind as far as that goes for next time and uh, maybe maybe we'll go on an adventure a little bit and try and find a mesa biome so we'll see how that goes uh, but until then as always thanks for watching and I'll see you next time